Yeah. Hi, Tim. Uh, welcome to Cloud Pandit in this Azure Data Factory Master Program. In this uh, video series, we will talk about deep dive into data sets in the Azure Data Factory. So we will see what is data set, how we will be using the data sets, different data sets are supported in the Azure Data Factory, everything we'll discuss. Let's get started. So what is data set? See, generally in previous session, we have seen linked service we were using for connecting to the various source systems like blob storage, data lake storage, SQL database, file systems, anything you can able to connect. Similarly, once you, once the connection is established, we can select the data sets contains the metadata about the data. So like uh, the schema of the file, uh, the file location, the file format. So are we need to read a folder? Uh, meaning when I say folder, all the files in the folder or uh, specific extension of the files in the folder, or we want to read a particular file, all those things we can select, okay? So what all that particular metadata, such as a schema information, file paths, formats, et cetera, we can able to define inside the data sets. So data sets represent the source and the destination of the data in your data pipeline. So data sets uh, represents, so where is your data at the source side? From where it has to extract the data so where it has to unload the data meaning it has to load the data in the target set the location of the source location of the target the schema of the source file in which format we need to load the data in the sync set all these things we are going to represent inside the source and the destination of the data in our pipelines data sets in our pipeline so these data sets will point to various types of data sources including the files uh, like files example file systems data like storage blob storage all those things databases example sql database sql data warehouse oracle mysql all those things okay api means it can support the soap api rest api right so all those apis also it supports and many more it supports we will discuss what are the different categories it supports before that you can see here so we can't create the data sets without the linked services clear all of you till here yes yeah, so we can see here like we can't create data sets without linked service so in order to read any data the connection so first you need to uh, like check whether you have a proper connection you have provided all the details correctly or not using linked service once we have a proper linked service which you are using for connection, then using that linked service, we can read the data to define the location of the file, file uh, schema or table schema or which type of file we wanted to read. All those things we can select in the data set. So the data set supports the following category of sources, Azure services, file services, database services, which includes SQL and NoSQL, and it supports the protocols and services, applications and data stores, compute, uh, compute means it also supports the like uh, data breaks, it supports the Azure H3 Insight, it supports the machine learning. So in all of these things, we are not going to create the data source or uh, data set, but we will uh, create the linked service to establish the connection. Instead of the data sets, we directly select the script file. So to create that particular script file, you can consider that script file also a data set. So it is similar to data set where we directly select the notebook if you are connecting to the data bricks. If it is a Azure H3 insight, we store the code in the blob or data like we point to that particular uh, location in the blob. So this is uh, that is also similar to data sets. Okay. Let's see key features of the data sets if you see. So it defines the structure and schema. Okay. First it defines the structure in which format the data is in what is the schema schema means the column names data types structure means uh, in which structure it is is it a uh, nested is it uh, flattened the columns right so all that information so a data set defines the schema and structure of the data this includes information about columns data types and any hierarchical relationship if applicable so like nested for example you have a json xml all those things contains the next elements right so we need to define the what is the structure is it a flat structure or hierarchical structure is it a schema like we have a proper columns defined and what is the respect to data type is it a proper all those things we can check within the data set location so a data set specify the data source location is it if it is a blob storage exact path of that particular file this could be a file based source for example if it is a blob storage on-premise file system data lake storage we will uh, define the location the path of that particular file if it is a database right so then we will define the table right so in which table we wanted to read 
or we want it to query the stored procedure and we need to get the data or we want to directly fire the query get the data so all those things should uh, represent the location or uh, the path of the file or table name query or stored procedure different ways we can query the data format so data sets defines the format of the data in which format we store the data comma separated or parquet which is a more efficient while reading the data because it's a columnar and compressed json xml excel also supports right binary it is supports right so all these uh, file formats it supports and this information is important for processing and transforming the data uh, correctly so we need to define the exact format in which format we have the data sets settings so depends on the data source and destination data sets include the settings related to the connection strings for example when we are writing the data into the snowflake the linked service uh, must be a even though you created a data set it can able to read data only if the blob connection is sas authentication shared access signature so you will also have the dependency of the data source uh, like what kind of authentication it has to use when it is creating the data set when it is reading the data and all so that's why settings is very important it defines the data source and destination so the data set should include what type of authentication okay so and other configuration necessary for accessing the data it will enforce it to use only sas authentication when you are using the destination is blob with the snowflake like that it can enforce it okay that is the settings category by the type of data sources if you see same azure services like blob so storage data set we can create data like storage gen 1 data set gen 2 data set databases if you see sql server data set oracle data set mysql uh, data set all these things we can create protocols we can create http data set rest data sets file services like file system data set ftp data set all those things applications and data stores if you see salesforce data set dynamic 365 data set teradata computer like data bricks data like analytics azure azure insight all these data sets we can able to create okay now let's quickly see how we can able to create the blob storage how to create the uh, like uh, jeju data factory how to create a linked service already we discussed yesterday using that linked service how to create a data sets we will quickly see now let me move on to the uh, portal okay how to access the portal portal.azure.com so i'll just go to here okay i'll just go to search here for the storage accounts okay so storage accounts will come click on the storage account create a storage account here come down you can create our own uh, resource group cloud pandit iphone uat iphone rg okay uat iphone rg click okay then you can say here cloud pandit okay source cloud pandit source blob uat okay so this name is this much name is not allowed so source blob uat in which location is to s remaining details you can keep as it is if you want to see how to create the blob storage what are the prerequisites to create the blob storage what are the different types of blobs to know all those things you can go inside the uh, like you can just watch my previous videos where we have discussed in detail again go open the new tab and go inside the azure portal okay so now we will create the data factory we will see how to create the data factory so go to data factories so create a data factory okay this is a free trade so resource group you can choose the one which you have created see cloud pundit uat iphone rg here i'll say cloud pundit adf v2 1008 today date and month then click review plus create to create the azure data factory so it is just validating all the given details click again once again review plus create sorry so it is validating all the validation succeeded that's why create button is enabled just click create to create the data factory meantime if we go back to the blob storage it is available now let's go inside blob how to create folders how to upload data also we have done previous uh, sessions we have covered that go inside here containers if you go inside container you can see the container tab you can create a global here inside the global you can upload the data in order to read the data okay just go inside the global and just upload the data browse for files now let's say i am just uploading uh, for example i am uploading a cust47.csv file 
okay this file i uploaded so let's see what type of data we have in this file okay, click on that file click edit here to see what data we have very simple data cid c name c location we have customer id customer name customer location now come to data factory go to resource okay so launch studio okay once you launch the studio you can see the azure data factory is opening once azure data factory is open in order to create a data set the prerequisite is linked service how to create linked service go to manage click new here and here you can create the linked service for which storage blob select blob this is ls underscore blob come down select subscription select this particular resource group what is that source which one we created not this one cloud pundit source blob uat we created okay test connection connection is successful in detail about linked service i explained in the previous session i request all of you to go and watch to know different authentication methods how we can able to use and all okay so once you have linked service you can go to the next tab called author tab where we create a data sets manage tab for creating the linked service in author tab there is a data sets click on this click new data set now you can just use your sorry blob to select this blob what type of data we uploaded csv select csv so as we discussed in the data set right so first you need to select the type of source then in which format the format type of your data so in format is csv now you need to give the name of your data set i am saying this is a ds underscore blob so linked service for blob now you need to say do you have a first one is header if you have headers then check it if you don't have headers uncheck this okay it will add the dynamic sorry default headers let's see for now i have headers as i have shown you if you see this file right this file is having the headers so if you see this file is having headers so what we can do now so you can see here like we can able to uh, check first as header right this file is having headers this header so you can check this particular uh, option as header now you can for now you can select the global and this is the file i want to read you are selecting the path you are selecting the path okay click okay the import schema is based on the file it will scan the file and it will get the schema automatically okay i'll show you where you can see the schema here so if you see schema it fetched automatically the schema fetched automatically so the path you have selected format you selected in the data set now let's preview the data just click preview data let's see whatever data we have uploaded same data are we able to read yes let's say what will happen if i uncheck the first two as header okay if i uncheck first two as header now preview data see now your headers also went inside the data and your headers is taken as a default headers okay prop 0 prop 1 prop 2 those are the default headers it has taken clear clear all of you now first row as header if you select the first row as header the data is coming properly okay next so if you see here in the schema do you think the schema is correct just click import schema so import schema from the connection and the store so the default schema it has given is string 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 it is giving okay so if you want to adjust the schema you can able to adjust the schema as well in the activities so basically this is for detecting the format okay so it will just detect in which format we have uploaded the data we have uploaded the data in the csv format okay so if it is not recognized you can just ask once again to detect the format it will detect the format okay this is how you will use to read the data with the help of the data set to create a data sets we are basically uh linked service is the prerequisite again if you click on new data set you can see the different categories azure services it supports databases includes on premise aws azure on okay file system like aws on premise generic protocols http odbc rest no sql database cache and ram mongo db services and apps you can see marketplace place and sap all those things are supported for this data sets okay okay so let's quickly uh, go through some of the questions that we have prepared for uh, understanding what is our understanding on today's session 
summary questions if you see what does a data set defines in azure data factory logic of uh, data pipeline no schema structure of the data uh, runtime environment monitoring and logging yes schema and structure of the data we will define within the data set so the answer b is correct what aspect of data does a data set schema includes storage location data formats uh, data types and uh, columns yes the schema includes that data types and columns the answer c is correct next in azure data factory where does a data set specifies the data source location so execution runtime data pipeline activities in the linked service in the data transformation stage where does a data spe data set specifies the data source location where it will define the data source location team the data source means the location will be defined based on the type of linked service if the linked service is already created for the blob storage means so that is our data source location right so it is defined in the linked service the answer c is correct what purpose does format of data set serves format defines the uh, determines the data set linked service specify location of data so determine type of authentication used to describe the way data is organized and stored so answer d is correct it describes the way data is organized and stored right so in which format data is organized and stored the answer d is correct for the format next which of the following is not a part of data set settings data set setting connection string will be there authentication details will provide transformation scripts we will not be putting in the data sets okay data transformation scripts we will not be putting in the data set settings we will select the connection string we will select the authentication details of the linked service we will put uh, like we will put the configuration of accessing the data but the data transformation scripts we will not put okay so the answer c is correct what does a data set represent in azure data factory user interface data processing engine logical representation of data source and destination is yes. the answer c is correct logical representation of data source or destination will be uh, defined with the help of the data sets what is the purpose of specifying location in a data set so it defines the format of data established transformation rule it enables secure authentication it indicates where the data is stored or retrieved from okay the answer d is correct what is the kind of data source can data set point in azure data factory only cloud based storage only databases only apis various type of data sources including files databases apis yes answer d is correct various types of data sources that we have seen okay that's all for today team thanks for watching the video i request all of you to put your uh, questions if you have anything in the comment session i'll respond for all of your, your questions thanks for watching once again thank you